Hi Knitters, it's Nancy from Noble Knits and today I want to spend some time talking to you new knitters about ninja tips that you can use that will really help you become a better knitter. Um, there's seven points that I want to go through and they're just some key tips to keep in mind as you're grasping the new concept of knitting, how you're working with your hands. So that's really kind of the things that we're gonna be covering today. Um, the first thing you wanna do is relax. Uh, I can't stress this enough. If you want to be able to knit to the next row of stitches, you just need to relax a little bit because what happens when you're too tight is that you put the stitches on the needle, you knit them really tight, and then you can't knit the next row because you can't get your needle back into it. So just relax and remember that you want the stitches to be able to glide smoothly along the needles. So put on some relaxing music, watch a relaxing TV show, just maybe light a little candle, set a mood, and just calm yourself down before you knit and give yourself the time that it's going to take to learn how to knit. And that brings me to my second point. Give yourself time to learn the new skill. Uh, think back to when you learned how to ride a bike or tie your shoelaces. It took some time, it took some mastering. And that's the same thing that it's going to take learning how to knit. Next up, number three, enjoy the process of knitting. This is supposed to be a hobby. There's a little bit of time that it takes to learn to master the skill, but once you get into it, it's going to be just like riding a bike, just like tying your shoes. You're not gonna give it a second thought. Um, so just give yourself time to ease into it, master it. You're going to go through a frustration period that is completely normal. The fact that you get to choose the yarn and the needles and the materials and the projects that you're knitting, that all is part of the process of enjoying this hobby. There are so many amazing luxury fibers um, from linen to vicuna, that's like the ultimate yarn, um, cashmere, silk, get to know those fibers, enjoy them, and there's even a lot of fun novelty fibers. Uh, there's yarns that change color as you knit. Um, there's yarns with a lot of interesting textures. Uh, go to a local yarn store or search for some yarns online. Uh, we have lots of ideas here at Noble Knits for projects and uh, yarns that we recommend. So give yourself time to get into the hobby and enjoy the hobby for what it is. The number four point I want to make is give yourself permission to make mistakes. It's okay. It's part of that whole learning process and there's going to be mistakes. Um, one time I, when I was learning to knit, a friend of mine, Dorothy Moskovitz, uh, I was complaining to her that I made a mistake in my knitting and I found it later on. I think I had twisted two stitches or not taken one of the um, stitches all the way off the needle so it looked like it created two stitches and she she just said your work is beautiful it was way down it really didn't affect my overall project and she said every you're going to have mistakes in your knitting it's a secret to be kept between you and god just move on from it so that kind of released the um, stress and pressure of knitting and trying to be perfect and if you don't like the mistake you can always rip it back but know that mistakes are just part of this process and they're going to happen every knitter no matter how fabulous they are have all made probably the same mistakes you're making through this process number five uh, let's just remember that knitting is a hobby it's not a college class and you're not going to be graded on it. So you don't have to worry about being held accountable to do something perfect. It's a hobby to really enjoy. So if you learn how to do the knit stitch and you do that for the next 20 years, that's okay. That's the hobby you created. If you learn how to knit and purl, that's what this little cowl is. It's knit a few, pur knit a few stitches, purl a few stitches, and just keep repeating that over and over on every row. That's okay too. Uh, if you want to challenge yourself and move to the next level, uh, learn how to do cable knitting or lace or brioche, those are great hobbies and it is what you make it. So 
Don't push yourself because anyone has told you this is what you have to do. Just enjoy it for the hobby that it is. It's not work. It's supposed to be a place for you to find a respite and relax. And the sixth point I want to make is laugh. Have fun when you knit. Uh, get to meet other knitters. And there's a lot of knitting communities out there. There's knitting groups. If you meet somebody else uh, that knits, get together um, once a week or once a month with them and uh, share your knitting trials and tribulations. Talk about what's going on in your life. And before you know it, you'll be mindless, mindlessly knitting and enjoying the process all the way. Um, there are some really good books by Stephanie Pearl McPhee on knitting and she has a great sense of humor. I'm going to provide links to those in the content below so be sure to check that out. Uh, she definitely puts a fun twist on knitting that you want to remember throughout the entire process. And the last point I'm going to make is to practice. Just like if you were learning to play the piano and your teacher would tell you practice, practice, practice. It's the same thing with knitting. Uh, you know, think of how many hundreds or thousands of stitches it's going to take to make one scarf. That's practice. So just get in there even if it's just knit stitch. Knit, 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 knit. By the time you finish that scarf, you will have learned to master that skill and maybe move on to another project that's the same or mix it up with uh, purling on the next one. But just build your skills, take your time, enjoy the process, laugh a lot throughout the way, and relax.